Uh, so let's say we have Cf2Cl2. That's what you're asking about? And it asks, is it polar? Yeah. So you have to go through all the steps. Lewis, then Vesper, then polar, in that order. So Lewis first. Valence electrons equals carbon is 4. There's two fluorines at 7. And then there's two chlorines also at 7. So that's 32. Okay, so next, uh, we got to draw the skeleton. How do you want to do the skeleton? C is the core. Yeah, C, if you got anything, carbon's going to be in the middle. Halogens, with some rare exceptions, will always be on the outside. F. So, 2, 4, 6, 8 of 32. Uh, 10, 12, 14. 16, 18, 20. 22, 24, 26, and then 28, 30, 32. Fantastic. Does anything have a non-zero formal charge? Um, Everything is zero. Everything should be zero. Is that okay with everybody? Okay. Everything has an octet. It's looking fantastic. This is the structure. There's no resonance structures here. I mean, once you have all zero formal charges in octets, there's rarely going to be a good... Uh, it's possible, but not as often going to be some good resonance structures. So now, you go groups. We have to go to shape before we go to polarity. So many groups? Um, four. Four. One, two, three, four. Single bonds on the center atom. We only care about center atoms. So that means it's electronic shape. Tetrahedral. And the same for the geometric. Yeah. Tetrahedral. And the geometric shape, uh, or geometric, or molecular geometry, whatever, it's all meaning the same thing. Geometric shape's also tetrahedral because there's no lone pairs. So whenever there's no lone pairs, both names are the same. Now, you need to know how to draw this, and I showed this in class. If you didn't get it, you want to pay attention to this part. You got the carbon in the middle, four things coming off of it, two are in the plane. One comes out of the plane. So this is coming and hitting you in the head right now. It's so out there towards you. And that you draw, it looks like a triangle. We call it a wedge. And the wedge means towards you. And then there's a fourth one going away from you. And we draw it as a dash. Okay? Now, where am I going to put the fluorines and chlorines? Well, those are like um, resonant structures of both. Yes. Let me try something. So I'm just put randomly putting the fluorines and chlorines in places, okay? Alright, let's just do the answer for this one first, and then we'll think about, is there another way I could have drawn it? Okay? Now, now that I have the Vesper, I've got the shape. By the way, what's the bond angles? 109.5. Yeah, if it's uh, tetrahedral, 109.5. All the bond angles. Okay, now you want to ask yourself, is it symmetric? No. No. Can you see how this side, there's chlorines pulling, there's a dipole going that direction, there's one going this direction towards the fluorines. They're not going to be symmetric. If all these atoms were the same, yes. But if any of them are different, it's not going to be so. This is polar. If you're using your rules of thumb, the other way to think about it, using the third rule of the rule, your general rules, it says if there's different atoms on the center atom, then uh, it's going to be polar. And that's definitely true here. You want to make sure that you didn't do the following. Uh, let me kind of redraw this before we get to that. Before I did the shape, before I drew a tetrahedral, see I drew a tetrahedral here. Before I did that, if you looked at this and said, oh look, symmetric, done, nonpolar, you would have got the wrong answer. The reason you got the wrong answer is you drew it square planar, and it's not square planar, it's tetrahedral. So you need to make sure to draw the shape, because looking at this, you would think it's nonpolar. So you have to, have to, no choice, draw the shape before you can determine if it's polar or not. Okay, the other question kind of come up. 
Did I draw that correctly? So for example, let me redraw this. That's too long. Okay. I still put that flooring on the top. Where would you like the second flooring? Um, uh, just any one of the ones that are going out or going into the board. Is this one okay? Yeah. And so by default, the flooring's have to go in the last two spots. Are those different? Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah, one's just like rotated, uh, rotated like 90 degrees towards us. To the right. Yeah, if you take this flooring, there's flooring in the front, two chlorines in the back, and you rotate it like this, you see the floorings will match up and the floorings will match up. These are exactly the same. So if you ever have a tetrahedral, and there are, you know, two different pairs of groups, you can put them on any way you want. It'll always be the same. You're going to find, like, differences when you get to Chem 2C or organic chemistry, but, but not in this class. Okay? So these are equal molecules, they're no difference, they're not called resonance structures, you should not draw both of them, we would take off points if you did. Okay. Yeah? So, I mean, so, like, if I looked at that, there's, like, a lot of ways that you can draw that, and, I mean, you just show that they're, like, different, like, you know, that, you know, this is right and that's wrong, but, like, how would you know what, which is, like, the right way to draw it out? Oh, the right way to draw it out? There is no right way. Uh, they're all equivalent. So it's not that this is wrong, it's just it's a duplicate answer. Okay. So it's like, what's the answer, uh, you know, uh, where's the MU? North and north of here. It just doesn't make sense. You don't double an answer. So it, I cross it out because it's a duplicate. So you could have put the fluorines anywhere and it's all equivalent. As yeah. far as you being able to recognize that, you may or may not have the visual, you know, know how to do so. So I'm just telling you, if it's tetrahedral, put it anywhere you want to, and just draw it once. And there's okay. equal, equal numbers of both atoms, or? If there's equal num, or yeah, or if it's three in one, oh, that's or if the they're same. all the same, it doesn't or matter. All different. Just, yeah, okay. where that's going to more matter on a square planar, so maybe I more generally, that will matter if it's uh, octahedral uh, electronic geometry or if it's trigonal bipyramidal. That's the only two places where it would be a big deal. Okay. And we can do one if you want. But so it's not yeah. a resonance structure because it's the exact same? Yeah, exactly. When you rotate something, it's, not re it's just like if I'm standing like this or like this. <laughs> It's still the same thing, right? A resonance, if you take an electron from one location and put it to another location, that's a resonance.